Hey everyone, welcome to Disney's Caribbean Beach. Tonight, we're having dinner at Sebastian's Bistro. This is a restaurant that we got a few recommendations for, from you guys actually, and mm -hmm. so we made a reservation, and here we are. Yep, and I, I'm not gonna lie, it's been on my list for a while. I know. I wanna compare it to the quick service here. The quick service is one of the best on property, and so I'm expecting this to be pretty darn good too. But we'll just have to wait and find out. I'm excited. We're just waiting for our table to be called, so as soon as it is, we'll make our way in and uh, we'll tell you about it. So we've got our table. It's a small table, it's a table for two, but there are plenty of big, comfortable tables in this place. I took a look at the menu. I'll show it to you now. I have to be honest with you though, I did not pay any attention to what is actually on the menu because it's a prefix. So they're gonna bring us what they're gonna bring us and that's kind of nice. It kind of feels good to not have to worry too much about what I want to order. I'm just kind of, I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. So the waiter did explain everything very thoroughly and we did have some substitutions because we were looking for some plant-based options. But I'm looking forward to showing you what it is we get. Because I already don't want to. So the salad and the bowls have arrived. This is the appetizer portion of the meal. Um, you got the caramelized onion and the butter with the bowls and then a full mixed salad. Let's enjoy. We're just kind of making our plates up, but I, I wanted to mention one of the things that's kind of annoying about being a party of two is that the tables tend to be really small. So, a little tight. you know, not much room to wiggle around, but that's all right. Anyway, let's give this a try. We'll let you know what we think in a bit. We finished our salad and rolls and it was so good. I loved the salad. It had like such a nice citrus taste. The rolls were amazing. Of course, we did get the plant-based option. I thought it was fantastic, but let's hear what Russ has to say. The rolls were delicious. Um, the, uh, the onion jam is like a French onion soup. It's amazing. Plant-based butter was phenomenal. The salad though was a 10 out of 10. I love that salad. It's a key lime salad, very citrusy. It's very good, nice and light. I even saved half of it for after I'm done with the main uh, the main entree because I'm gonna have a second round of it. It's so good. Also to know, this is a way we do uh, two person dining for all you care to enjoy because it's a little tough with the table like Catherine was saying. So we do like compartmentalizing of the table to, uh, to make everything fit right. Yeah, and then we don't have to give up anything that we're not ready to give up yet. Yeah. So, this is how we pull it off. It works. Gets the job done. The entrees have arrived. Uh, we got the proteins, so you get the chicken, beef, pork, fish, uh, with a mango relish. And then we also have the uh, side soothing entree, a vegetable curry, uh, cilantro rice, and some broccolini. Let's dig in. So we're waiting on dessert right now, but I wanted to check in with you and let you know that I really like the pacing of this meal. We were just talking about it a second ago, and it just, it's taking enough time in between courses so that we don't feel rushed, but not so much time where we're trying to hurry them along. So I like that. So far, so good. So now we're on to dessert. Uh, we got the plant-based option that allows me to eat it. Uh, so I'm excited about that. We got some uh, vanilla ice cream, a pineapple upside down with coconut cake with some caramel sauce. And because this is plant-based, again, that ice cream is tofu and the caramel has no dairy in it. So it's gluten-free, dairy-free, really cool. It's all the free and yet it still exists. It's amazing. All right, we just finished up dinner at Sebastian's Bistro and now we want to tell you a little bit about it. So you got a chance to see all the food. Yep. What did you think of all the food? The flavors all worked. Mm -hmm. They all worked together. It was it was great. Nothing like clashed with it at all. Like there wasn't like one thing you'd have to eat separately or anything like that. I would compare the the taste palette or the palette of the meal to like a Sanaa. So like it actually has a lot of different flavors that all just blend really well together. Like you think of like a mango relish and the cucumber zest pick, I think it's like a pickled vegetable and you know, the beef and the moho pork, like it just worked. Everything was really good too. And, and you know, Russ is mentioning like the accoutrement 
for Solar. all of the things. Yeah. Um, but I really liked how everything was, so the food was really good, but I'm about to say something. I hope that you're understanding where I'm coming from. The food was pretty average, um, everyday, whatever, right? So like yeah. on its own, the steak was average everyday steak. No surprises there. Same thing with the chicken. Right. And the pork was probably the most unique. Fish, about the same, average everyday fish. But what was really cool about that, at least in my opinion, is that you could add additional interesting flavors to it. But if you have someone who's not an adventurous eater, they can still really enjoy this meal. You know, it's not gonna feel like too interesting, too yeah. much for them, you know? So that's what I mean by average every day. The proteins are basic. Chicken, yeah. fish, beef. And then- pork. And, and pork, sorry, and the pork. But they're, they're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It was all really good. You're not a tomato eater. No, you don't and like so tomato. the tomato based dishes, so like the fish had some tomato stuff on it, wasn't really crazy about that. And then the curried vegetables was really good, but I didn't like it because I don't like that tomato flavor, like that stewed tomato flavor. So right. those were my least favorite parts of this dish or the meal, I should say. I didn't, I didn't have a worst part of the meal. <laughs> I know, it was all really good. It was all really good. I actually got seconds on the fish and the chicken. Um, not that I, I, I mean, I wanted more beef, but I just didn't have the room for it, to be honest with you. Um, it was all really good. The grilled uh, broccolini. It was so is, good. It's just like they do the seasoning at the quick service. Absolutely phenomenal. It was really, really good. It was all really good. Um, and dessert, as you know, we got the plant-based dessert. Um, I could tell that it was plant-based. However, that didn't take away from how good it was. No, it was absolutely phenomenal. And honestly, I think it was better because you know it didn't have the heaviness that comes with like regular full fat ice cream and caramel, you know? So that was It was, was a lot nice. lighter, which was and nice. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, for sure. I think it sounds crazy, but like I feel like one of the stars of the meal though was the salad again though. It was so good. It was good. such a good salad. Yeah. It was so good. Not that anything else wasn't was bad. But again though, we come full circle. There's not one bad thing at this uh, resort. No. Period dot. It's really good. You literally can order anything. That said, let's talk about three downsides to this restaurant. Okay? Yeah. Because of course, with the good comes the bad. So here are three downsides, at least in my opinion. The first is that it's loud. There are a lot of hard surfaces in this restaurant and it is very loud. It was hard to hear our server. He also had like a really like calm, smooth voice and he wasn't yelling. Yeah, no, so he was relaxed. I was, I was having a hard time awesome. hearing him. Yep. Um, so that's a downside. The other downside, at least for a party of two, is that the tables were really small. I felt like we just couldn't fit everything on our table without being like a little bit crowded. Which I will admit, uh, it, it always happens mm -hmm. uh, for us when we go to a uh, family style dining. There's never enough room on the table, period, dot. Yeah. So it's not a, not a specific Sebastian's issue, it's everywhere. The last downside is um, even if you do mobile check-in, there's no place to sit inside. Uh, to wait for your table. To wait for your table. You are waiting outside and if you go in for dinner in particular, you are uh, facing west, so that sun is... Uh, it's, it's right in your face. It's right in your face. So. And there's no shade outside of the Banana Cabana. Right, is that how you pronounce it? Banana Cabana. The Banana Cabana, which you might actually be able to hear in the background. They were actually playing uh, some music tonight, which yeah. is cool. But yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, let's make our way to the car and we'll think about anything else we might want to tell you about on the way there. So Sounds good. let's go. All right. You know, as we make our way back to the car, I can't help but think about something I mentioned at the start of the meal, which is that it was really nice to not have to look at the menu and like decide what I wanted to eat. That got us thinking, okay, about the Disney dining plan. Because I feel like so many people are talking about it right now because it is coming back for 2024. And you know, a lot of people, they're trying to sell the Disney dining plan on so many different things. One of which being that it makes it feel all inclusive. We're gonna talk so much more about this in the future. I'm not gonna get into it right now because Russ doesn't have his notebook. And goodness, are there notes on this topic. Oh yeah. Um, but I have to say like, I feel like if this is the type of feel you want, that all-inclusive, like don't have to think about it type feel. This is the type of restaurant 
you're looking for, mm -hmm. you know? Now, when we talk about Disney Dining Plan, there's like price points and getting the most for your money and all that, like that's a whole different discussion, but the ability to just show up and say, feed me, whatever it is you're serving. I don't know, I kind of like that. Yeah. Kind of like it. But anyway, I know this is just kind of a brief one. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with us to Sebastian's Bistro. He is, he's about to burst, okay? He ate a lot of food. Um, I feel great, <laughs> but I also managed what I ate today. I will say one last thing, very different from the feeling that I got when we were at, um, what is it, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Oh God, that was horrible. I ate so much more food here compared to there. I just took like a bite of everything and I left feeling terrible. Cool. I don't feel that way today. Like I feel good and I think it, it's just a testament to the ingredients and just, how good the food was. I feel like this is such a better value than that place. I know it's a different kind of cuisine and a different atmosphere, but nonetheless, this was amazing. So, is that all you have to say? Is that all you can manage with that full belly of yours? Yeah, I was gonna say the biggest thing is... Oh my God. No, um, yeah, to, to double up on the uh, Roundup Rodeo, like, I'm full. I feel fine, but I'm full. You don't feel gross. I don't feel gross. Mm. That place made me feel gross. Yeah. So. Yeah. But Phenomenal. anyway. Very good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked this video. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward, right? Um, and also subscribe if you want to see more, not only about Caribbean Beach, because there's a ton of videos on the channel about Caribbean Beach, but about all things Disney and Central Florida. Like we're, we're all over the place sharing stuff like this with you. So subscribe so you don't miss it. But that's all for now. I'm going to try and uh, get him home. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.